this is why I don't smoke on stream, bro. I don't know how long that was just muted for. And I'm kind of hot, bro. I'm kind of hot. I don't know how long that was just muted for. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. While one or two stragglers still roamed around, one of them was Bridget Harvey. She told the guard that another inmate, April Colvin, was in the women's restroom and wasn't feeling too good. Jimenez headed to the bathroom to see what she could do to help. As the deputy talked to Colvin, she had no idea she'd walked into a trap. While the deputy's back was turned, one inmate, acting as a lookout, crept around the deputy. Then Harvey walked up behind. She had a pillowcase and a comb she had sharpened with her teeth. Suddenly, Harvey wrapped the pillowcase around the deputy's neck. Once they took the deputy's life, Harvey planned to get- Ooh, they killed him too? That's fucked up. This be going both ways, bro. I can't lie to you. It do be going both ways, but damn, you didn't have to. She, that nigga said she sharpened it with her teeth. Nigga, <laughs> that bitch wanted to kill him. That bitch was in her cell like, mm, not sharp enough. Mm. Not sharp enough. Mm. But she was doing that to that motherfucker. Was till you had that motherfucker ready to jab somebody. Oh no, hell no. Uh, my condolences to whoever uh, that security, that CO officer life is. That's fucked up. Get the keys so that she and Colvin could escape. Every last detail had been planned out, except one thing. The other inmates didn't want anything happening to the deputy. Once they heard the scuffle, they woke up and ran to help the deputy, led by Mary Jean. In seconds, they got the pillowcase and the comb from her before other deputies rushed in and took the women away. Harvey and Colvin were slammed with additional charges of aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer, introduction of contraband into a detention facility, and escape from confinement. The deputy Deputy suffered minor injuries to her neck and throat, but survived. As for this story's hero, she got a broken oh, hand so she from the altercation die. and a plea deal. Sometimes inmates have officers' That's backs, but sometimes they don't. Like when a small request spiraled into an all-out riot. It all started with nine inmates at the Sandoval County Detention Center. Bro, it ain't even no re little request, bro. Them niggas probably don't be answering their request for weeks, months, bro. That's one just no re I don't believe that. This got to be They're serious in Mexico, than that. Refusing to leave the TV area and returned to their cells. More corrections officers arrived, but still, the men didn't budge. Instead, they started to take off their shirts and wrap them around their faces. That was when the officers realized... Oh, yeah, they're getting ready. Once you, once you see them doing that, they're not complying, they're wrapping their shirts around their face, they're getting ready for the tear gas. They, that's them signifying, up because y'all gonna have to... We ready for the tear gas, nigga. This is us signifying it's war. It's time to go to war. This was more than they bargained for, and one by one, they edged their way out of the cell block. This was a job for the task force. The task force made it in record time, but the inmates weren't so easily scared. When the officers tried to get tear gas through the slit in the door, the inmates stuffed blankets through the other end, but they got hold of it and pulled it away. The officers got a flash bomb in, but the inmates were undeterred. They rallied back moments later with a barrel of soapy water that they poured all over the floor and threw other items out the door. Hey, these niggas on bullshit. Them niggas threw soapy water by the door. Including a Type shit is that. The officers tried to get tear gas in again, but the inmates used the barrel against the opening. So the officers opted for something stronger. A lot stronger. Like the what? The blast blew the barrel away and the inmates scurried away in panic, bringing an unceremonious end to the riot. Staging a riot to get your way is one thing, but these three inmates decided to cook up something else. While this has all the makings of a cookout, me vegetables and an excited cook this is one cookout you don't want to be invited to this is the five-star course being served at an Oklahoma County detention center prison food isn't for everyone but did this nigga just say that's a five-star course being served at this is one cookout you don't want to be invited to this is the five-star course being served at an nigga that sh look like throw up and catch nigga <laughs> what the fuck? I would not eat see Hey, this is why I say, bro, don't go to jail. Don't, look, don't think it's cool to be too tough or tough at all, bro. Don't think it's, nigga, just protect yourself. Walk in your lane, protect yourself, be your person. Don't be too cool for school, nigga, because you're going to be eating cash out of a uh, plastic tray. Oklahoma County Detention Center. Prison food isn't for everyone, but these three inmates decided to do something about it. They made food, got a fire going, and put it all on a hibachi-style grill flame. Food, all the drugs they could need. The inmates were on cloud nine. Then, one smart... Bro, this is what I be saying, bro. Niggas in jail, be go they be living better than uh, some niggas out here on the streets, bro. 
Some niggas out here on the streets don't even be smoking that good or having that, that much food in their refrigerator stock. That's why niggas love going to jail, some niggas, and you shouldn't be that guy. That don't, that don't, don't glorify it. Don't think I'm glorifying it, because I ain't. Don't be in there with a fucking bag full of commissary, nigga, Mark talking about, you want to make a uh, snack pack? Put it on his Facebook Live. All right, that said, you, you, we're going to get you when they not with you. <laughs> The video immediately went viral and it wasn't long before the jail. That nigga said he in the county though. You ain't even in prison, nigga. You in county. You in there doing a short, you in there going to trial or doing a short sentence. That nigga in there making fucking hibachi style grills. <laughs> that nigga said, I got to do six months, nigga. Nigga, I'm finna make a hibachi grill, nigga. Six months. So officials identified all three. They were charged with two counts of possession of contraband by an inmate. There was also a <laughs> jail cooks, search huh? and correction officers found 23 cell phones, drugs, cigarettes, a used syringe, and many makeshift weapons. I bet the- 23 cell phones? Damn. Who the fuck was they calling? Those three probably got nigga had everything for coming for in a long time. Speaking of getting beat up, this corrections officer is about to find himself in a near death situation. What the fuck? Bro, I know this is not a correction. I know this, I know this is not a, a prisoner walking around with a CO like he got a dog on the leash, nigga. This can't be real, bro. He makes one costly mistake. March 27, 2021. This, was that can't to be, be real. A regular day for detention officer Daniel Misquez. He worked at the jail since 2019 without any significant incident, but that day would change everything. Misquez headed to the 10th floor of the detention center to deliver medications to the inmates when things took a deadly turn. What happened? I need, I need, Oklahoma, I need Oklahoma City police in the jail. The inmates have took the keys. They have a officer. Where, where, where are you there now? At Oklahoma City Police Department. I need them here. Are you at the jail? Yes. H who are you? I'm Captain Tiffany Carter. Captain Tiffany Carter? Yes. That's the captain. She sound like she crying. That's up. She definitely black. She's definitely black. And she sound like she crying for Daniel Vasquez or whatever his name is. Shout out to you, miss. That's why we need more black uh, African-American woman on the force. They're compassionate for all. Uh, some of them, not the, not the ones who, uh, uh, yeah, not them ones, the regular ones. And is this a good call? Ugh. Call back number for you, 1818? Yes. All right, our officers are already en route. Can you tell me any more what's going on right now? Um, I don't know. They got an officer. They got his keys. They are popping all the doors open. Curtis Williams, an inmate, had asked Misquez to open his cell door and allow him to sweep out some trash. When Misquez obliged, Williams came out, arms swinging, overpowered the guard, and handcuffed him, even though he had nothing against the guard. Then he took the officer's radio and keys and freed other inmates. Over the next two hours, Misquez... Why he do that to the nigga Vasquez for no reason? He said he ain't had nothing against him. Vasquez was just the one in the way. Vasquez was just the, uh, he was just the weak link. They knew that the, he knew that he could clobber Vasquez down, out with him, clobber him down, and release the homies. It was just that. It not, no fa no foul harm against Vasquez. Times. Williams got his hands on Vasquez's phone and went on Facebook Live, complaining about how they were being treated behind bars. Oh, we got food. We got mold on the tray. Can't take showers. We ain't got no mirrors in here. The water don't work. Toilet backed up. Just Any inmate who didn't get the program received Williams' rage. Two hours after Misquez was taken hostage, the at the program. No mirrors in here. He said any any inmate that didn't go with the program got whooped out. That's <laughs> That's Any tough. inmate who didn't get the program received Williams' rage. Two hours after Misquez was taken hostage, Damn. the tactical unit moved toward the prison. While other inmates ran off to their cells, Williams took Officer Misquez to the top of the stairs, holding a knife to the officer's throat, and forced him to his knees. One officer instantly brought out his gun and fired two sh Bro, this is some sh out of a movie, bro. Out of a fucking movie. This nigga got this nigga at the top of the stairs with a at knife point, nigga at his throat. Nigga, you got 10 officers at the bottom of, bottom of the stairs talking about some, get down, get down. This some out of a movie, bro. Don't go to jail, bro. That ain't cool. Shots. 
killing Williams and bringing the hostage situation to an end. Misquez was taken to the hospital and made a full recovery. He since resigned from his position. Hell yeah, you know he out of there with that. He ain't playing with them niggas. That nigga almost died. Hostage situation. He had that. He seen a nigga get smoked right on top of him trying to kill him. Oh yeah, he out of there. He's quitting.